right y'all so this is a super impromptu video we are literally just sitting at our dining room table on sunday morning and i was scrolling through instagram and i saw this very interesting <laughs> this face pop up of course it's kevin it's kevin on stage kevin on stage yeah, that's, that's, that's that weird okay y'all hold on I follow this page called the Black Marriage Movement, and they always post these super interesting conversations between men and women. And so, this one posted today. Uh, oh, well, posted 12 hours ago. It's a conversation. So, this woman, she texts this this guy basically trying to get clarification about what they are. And so, she's asking him, is he awake? I'm going to summarize just the first couple because it, it's just the, her contacting him. And uh, he's like, well, I'm about to go to sleep. And so, she's like, well, I want us to talk because it's super, super important. And she's like, I have a question. So, she says, who am I to you? And he responds, funny. You're my girl. And she said, well, what do we call this relationship in definite terms? And he said, you're my friend. This is a relationship. So she, or this, he says, this is a friendship. So she said, friendships where we have sex. I cook for you. I come over. I do laundry. I do everything I can for you. And he says, oh, and she's, and then she says, and I'm just a friend. And he says, can we skip this talking? I want to go to sleep. And she said, no, we're trashing this right now. How can I wait six months like this? You need to confirm what I am to you. Uh, and so she, he, I guess, takes a long time to respond. And she said, uh, don't tell me you're gone off. And he said, no, I'm thinking about what, to, what I'm going to reply to you. And she said, it's simple. This relationship needs a label. He says, you know, I never really asked you to do all these things. I never asked you to cook, clean, help me with anything. You're just a friend at best. So she says, what do you mean? I've been here giving you everything, my time, my body, all my efforts. I put everything into this. Hoping that you would deem me worthy to call this a relationship. I've been in this for six months. He said, but who told you to start though? Hey, bud. Go ahead, keep going. He says, uh, yes, our child is right underneath our feet under the table because we um, are real life parents. We had to take a brief intermission because our uh, almost two-year-old is getting into Freaking this terrible out. twos and we don't know what to do. Okay. Um... So, so she says all these things that she's been doing. And he says, but who told you to start? No, name the things that she's been doing. Oh, so she says, um, I've been, I've been here giving you everything. My time, my body, all my efforts. I put everything into this and you won't even deem it worthy of a relationship. So he's hope he said, but who told you to start though? Honestly, we met six months ago. I told you I wasn't ready for a relationship. I just got off. A broken one you caught feelings you decided to stay in this even though i didn't give you any assurance and you want to blame me she says when a girl comes over to cook for you gives you sex does your laundry does every single thing girlfriend does what do you call that he says <clears throat> exactly what i said i never asked you to i don't i said what i said i said what i said i don't intend to get into any relationship in the near future i made that clear but you still decided to do all those things as a girlfriend, so I gave you the liberty. I respected your feelings. But to be clear, no one in the world will fault me. Uh, there's no offense when there's no official commitment. So mm. she's like, you used me. And he's like, on the contrary, you used yourself. You don't know the importance of communication and relationships. If you hadn't come to your, to your senses now, we could have continued this for years. And you'll watch me give you an invitation card to my wedding. Mm. And she's like, you're a heartless soul. He says, no, I'm not heartless. In fact, <clears throat> I'm the kindest man you ever met. Other guys would give you false assurance to keep getting the sex. And I came up real to you. And she said, you'll never find happiness. And he's like, don't do that. Don't be petty. She said, all I've done for you after six months, all the efforts. I didn't ask for it, though. It's on you. Don't ever assume in a relationship it's dangerous. You felt because we had sex that made us a couple baffling. And then she basically just says, uh, you're going to hell. And he's like, I know you're going to block me. So thanks for the meals, the sex, and the clean clothes. You'll be missed. And then this is the react. I'm going to link this uh, post <laughs> in, the, in the description box. But that's the reaction to it. So the caption, the lady who is over this page says, 
on him that he is on wrong and I do fault you, she's talking to the man, because you knew you didn't want a relationship with her and you accepted everything. But then she also says like, but the girl is also wrong because she should not have offered up her everything to a man who had not committed to her and told her he didn't want a relationship. And so me and BK were just sitting here talking about it like, what? Like, first of all, I mean, we know. We've been with each other for a long time, but we are aware that there are men out here like this. And so I was like, I agree with the girl who wrote the post. I'm like, y'all both wrong. Like the guy is wrong. The girl is wrong. But you had said something that was a little bit opposite to me. I said that she's wrong for doing all of that stuff. Uh, I, I think, uh, <clears throat> I think that when you clearly communicate from the beginning that you don't want this, like you don't want anything like I think that people, man or woman, mm -hmm. they need to really look at the signs. Like, that's why all the time. That's, that's what I'm thinking. There had to have been signs that that man didn't want to really be with her. This is the thing. We, and she was just being oblivious to it. We have friends that always say, we're exclusive. We're exclusive. We're exclusive. And I always ask, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Right? Does that mean that I'm only having sex with this one person? Because if that's the case... You can't be mad if that person decides, hey, look, I found somebody who I who who I really want more than just their body. Mm -hmm. Right. And they say, man, I'm emotionally tied to this person. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of it. You can't get mad mm -hmm. because he was exclusive yep. up until then <laughs> or she was exclusive all the way up until the end. But when a person <clears throat> is clear about their intentions and you still decide to go ahead and say, well, I'm just going to win them over. Mm -hmm. I don't think life works that way. A life just is done. Just, it does not work that way, and so I, I don't, I don't. I, not, I'm not saying that he's not wrong in what he did because he, what he could have done is he said he could have said, "Hey, look, I appreciate you doing all these things for me, but I, I really want to make sure that you know, I really want to. Mm -hmm. I don't really want you doing all that because but you're my friend." But at the same friend. time, like I can kind of see him being like, "Well, you were doing like I'm not gonna say no to you giving me all these things that I want." And I don't have to give you the title. That's right. Like, yeah. And, and I think. Okay. okay. You, you gotta. And people always be like, well, titles don't really mean. Titles mean a lot. I don't care what nobody say. Mm -hmm. Titles mean a lot. So my thing is, it's like, you can't, it's, it's, you, you can't go in life without titles. It just, it, to me, it just doesn't work that way. You never go to a job and they just tell you what you're doing. Mm -hmm. They always tell you your position because you will be paid accordingly. Mm hmm Right? And you don't want to be doing manager things for a starting salary yeah, you're uh, not, position. If you're not a manager, if they're not calling you a manager, mm -hmm. don't expect mm -hmm. manager pay. Mm -hmm. But you may still need to do the duties. Why? I mean, you still may. They no, you still, don't have to do the duties. You're choosing to, to do you're manager You're choosing to do the duties. For entry even, level salary. Even though you're not getting paid mm -hmm. for. And that is the reason why I always try to tell people, you need to know what your title is. I don't care. Girlfriend, fiance, wife, uh, you just my sex partner. Because um, then you're going to be we, mad when you just use. Yes. And I'm wondering, is this the first time that she had asked <clears throat> after six months of all that? That's another the thing. The first time you asked yeah. for six months of what we're doing? Girl, Who after, giving themselves after, for six months? After a month, you should have been asking questions. Man, I'm not doing all that for six months and then coming to, you need to be honest with me. Like, you need to be honest with me. Okay, bud. Uh, I'm not sitting up there for six months, sitting up there talking about some, after six months, I need to figure out what this is. No, mm -hmm. no. Now, the thing is, is like, he, I think he was right. He's like, man, I never gave you false hope. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think, I think the thing is, it's like, okay. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not painting myself to be a perfect person. My thing is, is like, people make mistakes, right? People make mistakes. But I feel like he did not. Because I feel like he, he if he if he communicated to her that, hey, this is all this is. that's another thing. I'm not quite sure he, well, he did say, he said, I told you from the he beginning. He said, I told you from the beginning. Yeah, he did. And what she say? I just thought that if I did everything, it would deem oh, me worthy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, don't like, do that. Like, what makes you think that just because, like, who told you if I do all those things, then he will love me? 
Why do you feel like if you did all those things that he would need to? Look? Why didn't you love yourself enough to be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm not going to hit This is too much. That, you right, baby. Like, that's my thing. Like, it, you need to love yourself enough to say, man, I'm, I, man, I'm going to find something. Yeah, he said, but who told you to start, though? Honestly, we met six months ago. I told you I wasn't ready for a relationship. I just got out of broken one. You caught feelings. You decided to stay in this, even though I didn't give you any reassurance. Man. I think that's my thing, and I, I think that, like... If he honestly told her from the beginning, then I think it's more of her fault. Yeah, you have to give... You have to put responsibility on her also. Yeah, Because sure. she needs to protect her heart. Yes, yeah, she does. And she did not. And that, I don't know if that's his... I don't, I don't... I don't... Because she probably grew up thinking, well, if I do this, this, and this, a man will love me. Exactly. And that could have been a thing. But, you know, and he mm -hmm. did... Like he said, I just got out of a relationship, so I wasn't really trying to do... I don't know. Like, I, One of the comments Daddy, here said, uh, One of the comments here said, Nothing more to add here for real. Don't invoke romantic emotions out of someone with no intent to be serious with them. Then get mad when they call you out on your ish. So I guess he's talking about like the guy. Um, like maybe he was trying real hard to get her to like him or she. Or, or he was trying real hard to get. No, 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 she, no, no, this is to him. Don't invoke romantic emotions out of someone with no intent to be serious with them, then get mad when they call you out. So he's referring to the guy. Oh, okay. Like he shouldn't have been invoking romantic uh, feelings out of her and not with no intention. But I don't know. Can you do that? Like, and I don't know. We're all we have is a text message thread, but we're just like, but you control your emotions. But I mean, also, to too, we're, yeah, you said something. You said that we're, we're, we're looking at the text messages trying to get a whole story, mm -hmm. right? He could have been giving her a little bit of false hope. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. people who, a lot of times when people are like that, uh, they're always living in the gray. When she said, who am I to you? He said, you my girl. You my, yeah, yeah. Y'all better you see what I'm saying? That my girl, my guy. My girl, title. my guy. You, you my girl, right? Mm -hmm. And so it was just like, has he been saying but I mean, he was pretty blunt with it. He I mean, was, and I'm thinking that didn't just come out of this nah. time. Like I feel like there had to have been prior conversations because he was very blunt, and I don't very feel blunt. like it was You're just like, this is oh, all of us uh, today, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Like y'all had to have had previous. Go back, go back to that text man. I want to see the timestamps on that because I want to see if you really thought about this. Cause... Um, the timestamps are weird, but wait, what? Go, go back to the label part. Go back to the beginning. And she said, what is this? You're my friend. Oh, it's like sec. Hey, boy, they was texting fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, this relationship needs a label. Literally one minute later. Yeah, that man was fast with the fingers. Yeah, he knew. Yeah, he already knew. He, he said, you're just a friend at best. So one minute later. I mean, goodness gracious. This yeah, man. They was texting fast. They was texting fast. Well, they was mad. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, he. It, so it wasn't like he was. And so I wanted to see if he really thought about what he was texting. You know what I mean? Like maybe he was just like, "What do I do? What's wrong?" I I was like, it, it, when he... and they using WhatsApp, so somebody that don't got no phone service or somebody don't got nobody somebody's real number or something. Yeah. This is a WhatsApp app, ain't it? Ain't that what WhatsApp was? Like? Why y'all don't have real text messages? Questionable. He probably didn't want you to text him in real life. Hmm, that's crazy. Yeah, man. That's that's that's. I just thought. I just I just think that that's crazy. I don't think. I I don't know. I don't know. I think that people put real unrealistic expectations on themselves and other people no. without having a conversation. Like mm -hmm. he told her that she needs to learn how to communicate, but also he needs to. Like part of me is like. When she was doing all that stuff, you should have made it clear, like, okay, you're doing all these things, but I told you I don't want to be in a relationship. Like, I'm, like I'm. He should have said that several times. But then also, her as like a grown woman should have been like, mm -hmm. why am I folding your clothes and you don't even call me a girlfriend? Yeah. Like I ain't doing none of that until until we get a label. Cause I yeah. need to know how much to give you. Remember when? Remember yeah. when? Remember when I did the whole I'll date you for a day? Mm -hmm. Cause I wanted you to see what you would get. Mm -hmm. As me being your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Then after that, the next day I was like. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. It's like you got to have levels to what you do. Yeah. You can't sit up here and be giving everybody. That's why 
when everybody and I wonder just, how many other men have you been doing their laundry and stuff for first of all you are would be his girlfriend not his mother right y'all like, y'all not engaged y'all not married y'all don't live together you know I ain't doing that but you're right. He had to have been. That comment is right. He had to have been saying things, doing things. I feel like to make her be like, you know what? I'm gonna do all this stuff. For you. I'm but gonna we, take care of you like a. But child. we've known people who would say, "Well, it looked like this, and that was the way that they won that person over," right? No. What do you mean? Yeah, but what do you mean by that? Remember how he was like, oh, going over there, I was cutting the grass. Oh, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, Even oh, though oh. it looked like this, I kept pushing. Why? Oh, because yeah. he felt like he felt like he was going to win her over. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. In which he, he ended up doing. But So then are you supposed to try to win people over or does it have to be a I mutual? Think, be, they, they think that there's this people. Some people think that there's just like this haze over people's eyes. And then all of a sudden they're just going to be like, no. So and so would be a good wife. Let me just go ahead and pursue. Mm -hmm. That ain't. I. That happened. They have to want that as well. Yes, and I think that he was, like you said, he was in a relationship, and he just kind of was like, "Look, I ain't looking for nothing serious." Mm -hmm. I think she should have took that as a sign and said, "All right, cool. We just <laughs> so, gonna be friends." I think so too. Like she should have kept her distance. And if it was just friends, maybe you just want to be friends with benefits, but you. But now, don't be asking questions about it. Like he said, he just wanted to be friends with benefits. And maybe she thought, no, I can get this to be more than friends with benefits. And he's telling you, no, you chose to do that. Yeah. I don't know. That, I Let me just say, let us just say, as people who um, are married, that we are sorry for those of you who are dating that have to go through this because people just have people in limbo and like you don't know what it is, what it's not. And like that's hard. And I feel like she's going to have a hard time dating other people uh, speak for yourself i look let me tell you something this, this, she said that i'm telling you i'm not sorry okay i'm not sorry and i'm gonna tell you why you need to find value in yourself and know and love yourself enough to say you know what i'm not gonna give somebody all of me when we're not even together or we're not pursuing marriage or whatever you're trying to do whatever level you at Confirm that and be okay with it. If you're not okay with it, move on. There are plenty of people out here. You'll find somebody that, look, you will find somebody to love you for who you are. But do not be in a relationship or be in a friendship with somebody, giving somebody all of you, and then this ends up happening and you're upset. No, because you shouldn't be washing nobody's clothes. You shouldn't be doing nobody's dishes and doing all of these crazy things when there's not... You don't have a label. Mm. That's, a, that's, like a that's the biggest thing. About what we are. Yeah, that's dangerous. If 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 we were living in our separate places, mm -hmm. and you were saying that we are girlfriend and boyfriend, mm -hmm. I don't mind coming over. And if I see dirty dishes, I'll yes. go ahead and bust them up real mm -hmm. quick, right? But my thing is, but it ain't gonna be like you at work and I'm cleaning up the house. No, you're doing your laundry. No, no, I go back to my clean house, mm -hmm. and you come over here, mm -hmm. right? Till you till you clean up your house. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my thing. It's like, it's levels to this, right? Just like what we do. We didn't share bank accounts. Even though we had been together for so long, we had never did that. And you helped me realize that you said, we're not even married. I'm not about to share my bank account with you. Mm -hmm. Soon as we got married, that next day, we went to the bank and she added me to her accounts and I was going to close down my accounts. And she said to me, all right, go ahead and transfer your money over. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there are levels to this. Like a commitment. Yes. When we bought, when we bought, we bought our house. We didn't buy a house before we got married. Mm -hmm. We 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 specifically we held off. Too. We we specifically held off on buying a house because we said no, we need to be married, mm -hmm. and then we will buy a house together. It didn't make sense for me to go buy a house on my own or her go buy a house on her own and be like, well, when you when we get married, we gonna we gonna move into here. <clears throat> no, there are levels to this. So man, you gotta know. You gotta know that. You gotta know, you gotta know that, you man. Are. You gotta know that. Yeah. So we just had to talk about this because we were sitting at the table talking about it. And I was like, let's get the camera. It's it's vlogmas. Um. But yeah, if you have any thoughts to this, I'm like I said, I'm gonna link the uh, post in the description box. If you have any thoughts to this, let us know. Feel free to agree or disagree. We don't care. Comment I mean, down below, please. We like I dialogue, wanna, so we won't I be offended. See what this is going. I want to see what people think. Yeah, because this is 
This is wild. We'll have to start commenting on more of these. This lady has these types of posts all the time. Yeah. And it'd be like <clears throat> heck of comments that people are about. What page is this again? Black Marriage Movement. Okay. Black Marriage Movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Peace. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. If y'all like this video, like it, hit the thumbs if up button. Like, oh, okay. Hit the thumbs up button. If you dislike this video, just don't do nothing, okay? <laughs> Leave your comment down below. You don't got to put the thumbs down. We understand. When we don't see a comment, we'll see a like. We understand you didn't like it, okay? You don't have to hit the thumbs down. But if you want to, go ahead and subscribe to our page. Uh, we drop uh, weekly videos and uh, about marriage and just our lives and things like that. And we just want to have people walk with us, kind of see what we do um, in our marriage and how we uh, are just having a lot of fun, right? Because a lot of times the world paints it as marriage is more like prison, right? But this is not like that. This is freedom. So we want to show that black love exists. Marriage is fun. Um, and you see and what kids, kids yeah. interrupt you. And kids interrupt you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the page. Subscribe, share with somebody just like yourself. Okay, go ahead and now you can just. Okay, bye.